This video shows how to create and format questions using the Edit menu in Respondus 4. Respondus 4 integrates with several learning management systems, so the first step is to select your particular system from the list on the Start menu. This is the Edit menu in Respondus 4, which is where you create new questions or edit questions already in the file. The question types are listed along the left side of the screen. And for each question type, there's a template for entering the question wording. Let's use the multiple choice template to create a question. First, enter the title for the question. The question wording is entered next. Now the various answer choices are entered. The correct answer is selected from the pull-down list. The point value for the question can be entered here. At any time during the creation of a question, it's possible to preview the question by selecting Preview. This shows how the question will look once it's published to your online course. Finally, to add the item to the question list at the bottom of the screen, select either the Add to End of List or Insert into List option. The question has now been added to the end of the question list. For questions already in the file, you can select Preview, Edit, Delete, Use as the basis for another question, and more. Let's edit this question. The question now appears in the appropriate template and is ready for editing. The toolbar on the Edit menu lets you add enhanced formatting such as bold, italic, underline, subscript, or superscript. Or you can add things like equations or media files. Let's add an image to this question. Position the cursor where you want the image to be inserted and select the media wizard from the toolbar. Indicate where the file will be uploaded from or linked to. Select the type of media file that will be used, in this case an image. Browse to and select the file. And then add alt text for screen reader applications as appropriate. Confirm the image scaling and select Finish. Back in the editor, a camera icon will indicate where the image will appear. To see how this will look in the online test, simply select the preview option. Let's return to the editor and add an equation to the question. The process for adding an equation is similar to how an image is added. First, position your cursor at the location where you want the equation to appear. Then select the Equation Editor from the toolbar. This is the Equation Editor. Let's enter the mathematical expression for speed. V, which represents speed, is equal to distance divided by time. When finished with the Equation Editor, simply close the window. A second window now appears asking for confirmation of the size of the equation. To accept the default size, choose OK. Let's preview this again to see how the equation appears within the question. Looks great! OK, now we're back at the editor. Since those are all the changes for this question, I'll use Save Changes to save the updated question. Before wrapping up this video, let's look at the Power Edit tool. We'll select a different question to edit. Position the cursor in the field we want to edit, and now select Power Edit from the toolbar. The first thing you'll see is that there's a larger area to work in. This is ideal if working with long sections of text. There is also an extended list of options on the toolbar when Power Edit is used. For example, you can insert a table, or you can change the font size, or type, or color, the background, and so forth. There is also a tool for adding numbered or bulleted lists. So if you want a larger area for doing your editing, or need to access some of these additional tools, Power Edit is the way to go. Well, that's a quick tour of the Edit menu in Respondus 4. To learn more about other editing features, see the online help or the Respondus 4 user guide.